As a child of immigrant parents, I remember watching my parents use a Korean English dictionary to meticulously translate their voting ballot because they took their responsibilities as U.S. citizens with such seriousness. It was those memories, their struggles as small business owners, and my experience growing up as a minority in this country that really influenced my view of government and the critical role we play in advocating for our elected officials. I grew up embracing Republican ideals. I idolized Lincoln and Roosevelt and Reagan, and the idea that small governments, deregulation, and power on a state level could really affect greater good for people. And for the 25 years that I've been a member of the Republican Party, I have been a proud member. But now I watch as Trump twists this country's leadership into his own personal podium for spreading fear and uncertainty. He ridicules opportunities for unification at a time when we're desperate for it, opting instead to see messages of violence and mocking an institution that once stood for honor and integrity and common goodwill towards all men. And for a country that once opened its arms so far and wide to all groups of all people, he chooses instead to insult those people across all levels of race and ethnicity and gender. In short, he's done everything that the Republican Party has stood against. Unilateral, unchecked, and blatant misuse of power. Trump almost cost me my faith in the belief that government can do good. I can only hope, I have to hope, that we will recover from the lies and the manipulation that he has ravaged against the American public and the common decency that he has extorted from us all. But I have to say that without a doubt, he has lost my faith, my support, and my vote.